hello guys this is Afrodix welcome to the first tutorial on how to use Proteus 8 professional so today we are going to look at the basics or the general overview of Proteus 8 my new version that I'm using is the latest version which is 8.13 if you want this version you can check in this part of the video or check in the description below you will see a link that will show you on how you can download and install Proteus 8.1 now if you install and open purchase 8.13 you'll have a home page looking like this here you can get started by going through some pdfs these are pdfs and then you can go through some help tutorials are designed here and also here is about the license and other stuff here is the news for any update for the software here we can get started with the project either we open an existing project open a new project new chart flow or open a sample all right so at the at the top here we have the menu bar at the menu bar if you go to this system go to system settings you have different ways on how you want to set your system for this software where you want your project to be saved how you want the library local to be and also here the maximum mondo levels maximum backups auto save very very important this is the auto save that is purchase has this facility of a sudden power cut it can save automatically some part of your project right? so you can put the time that it will be in an auto save by increasing or decreasing the minute and also if you want to retrieve the backup um, the auto save just check this one backup folder so we're done with that okay so from here we have toolbar commands and at the home page we have two categories one is file or project commands and the other one is application command here either you open a new project existing project save project or close the project all right and then at the application command we have the home page we have schematic capture we have pcb layout we have 3d visualizer we have Gerber viewer we have design explorer we have deal of materials we have source code we have project nodes and help you can get your help here now let us go straight into schematic capture well things are getting crazy here now you'll be wondering what are these but just exercise a little patient we'll go through all these things step by step and you'll have a full understanding of how they work at the top here we have the menu bar and then down here these are called the command toolbars and these toolbars are divided into categories we have first file or project command we spoke about this earlier and then we have the application command here and then we have another category which is display command where we can change graphics we can zoom in zoom out zoom at specific area or zoom at the center we have editing command the editing where we can cut copy paste reduce the size so on and so forth we can do that and then we have the design tools these are the design tools that we can use all right now you got idea of these ones now let us go at the left hand side of the software at the left hand side of the software from here up to here is called the mode selector and in the mode selector it is divided into three categories we have the main modes we have gadgets and then we have 3d graphics then from here downward we have the orientation toolbar we have rotation here and then we have reflection here and here is to play pause or stop a simulation now we have full understanding of what we're seeing right now if you see this part of the software is called the editing window over here is called the overview and then here is component selector window so if we want to place a component we just have to right click go to place component library so i see this one as a long process right so if you want to go the short way just make sure that it is in the component selector mode click on this p icon here it will take you to the library and at this keyword stage you just have to type a component and matches will appear all right let us say for example let us check for battery 
as it matches will appear all right so this is the type of battery that we want okay so if you click on it you say okay this window will be closed maybe you want to search for um, many components so if this one is closed you have to go again to p and then so to save time you just have to double click on this one it will appear at the component selector window all right now next we have let us search for led now we have various type of led so i would like to go with red take red okay so this window will close all right so at the component selector window you select a component you want to put in the editing window click on it bring it here then this other one things are saying that it's too far well, i can see some of these things so that is the help of the zoom in and zoom out to see what you are doing so we can use this one zoom in and then we can use this minus sign as zoom out we can use this one to zoom the center and then we have this one to zoom at a specific area so at this point we have the terminal of your component if you click at the tip of the terminal it will indicate red you click on it a wire will be displayed I click here come here select all right so go to this one also come here all right so you can highlight all this and then you can move them to a specific area you want to see right put but we need to give this one a ground how can we do that by clicking here we go to place and then we go to terminals and then we go to ground this sound this looks like a long process for me so all you need to do you come to this terminal mode click on it the ground is here put it here then connect this one this one is in 12 volt if we give it to this one this led will crash right so we want to edit this one way of the editing is to when you click on the battery it will be highlighted right click then you go to edit properties i see that is a long process right so you just double click on it then you can see it like this so let us name this b1 as battery and then the voltage let us give it as 3v okay so we say okay now it will be displayed here 3 voltage right so here is our led so let us run this circuit and see so we click on run boom our led is on right good now you can stop the simulation here we want to edit the led double click on it now let us call it red and then let us call this one as button so okay good so let us play boom it's still on so guys this is what i have for you today if this video was helpful for you smash that red button and subscribe to Afronix. and also share this video to someone who may know that it will be of a great help too if you face any difficulties or if you have any comment just leave it in the comment section below we will reply to you as soon as possible Thank you for watching this video.